Well, I know that uh, you have a lot of memories with, with Stephen. I'm sure this isn't one that you wanted to add to this list. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no, not at all. What are your thoughts Again. on the game, Ron? The better we are right now. Um, they out physical this uh, at the basket. You know, it's like football in the offensive line of scrimmage tonight. They they beat us in the trenches. And Wesley and, and Bendel and Jardine and Modunian didn't play a lot, but um, they kicked our tail on the boards and, and, and in the paint. And um, it was really about that simple. I mean, they just out physical us in every phase of the game. It seemed like you guys had a run there come in at the end of the first half and, and then come out of the locker room and things seemed to go upside yeah, down. Yeah, you know, we, we did. And I don't know what it was, a two- or three-point game, and then we just we got a good stop and then get a couple of key blockouts, and, and they capitalized on those on, the, on those plays. And, and uh, you know, they're a good, solid basketball team. And this is not this is not the it's not the lower-level part of the, the, the league. This is the team that's picked to win the league and a, uh, a team that uh, is coached by a guy who's got 500 wins and – and coached by or has four starters back that are all over the age of 24, and uh, have a bunch of two and three year starters. So these guys, these guys are efficient and good, and, and we obviously found that out tonight. Second half, especially, you guys, you guys got some buckets in the first half, but second half they just really clamped down. You know they're very good defensively. Uh, they did a good job. They did a great job in their zone. Uh, you know I, I thought we got some decent looks in the second half. We just didn't knock them down, and we missed some some, some close and. And when it gets to be a possession game like it was tonight, those possessions obviously get magnified, and that's what happened. Sean, how are you doing? I didn't know you made the trip. Good to see you. Think I missed What's that? Think I missed this one? No, I, I wouldn't think so. At times, it almost looked like some of your kids were a little hesitant to shoot over that zone. Did you feel that at all? No, not really. I thought they did a good job extending to our shooters. Uh, you know, I thought they did a good job in their game preparation. Um, and I don't know if we were hesitant or not. Uh, I thought they did a good job in their coverages. You know, there's a couple things that this team struggled with for, for most of the season. That's been turnovers and free throw shooting. And you guys did a good job of both of those things yet. Is it is this kind of frustrating? <laughs> we got two holes plugged and some others busted tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a good, good assessment. Uh, I got no answer for that. We we worked our tails off in those areas. We made some personnel changes. We played some guys in different spots to that we thought we, we could be more efficient, and I thought we were at times. And then you know, uh, boom, we don't we don't rebound the ball as well as we had been. So uh, we just got to keep grinding. Um, that's that's the only thing I know to do. And uh, we just got we just got to keep going to practice, going to work every day, and and keep working. What do you look for ahead to with Boise State coming up? Well, obviously our in-state rival, big game. Uh, they're coming in here. They're desperate for a win, uh, as we are too. Um, and uh, it's always a good game when Boise and Idaho get together. So I know our guys will be looking forward to it. I know our coaching staff will be, and I know Boise State will be. So so uh, it's uh, it's not only a big game for us in terms of our season, it's a big game uh, in, in, for our in-state uh, in state baths and, and um, since I've been here, we obviously uh, have a little bit of an edge on them, and hopefully we can continue that on uh, Monday night. Coach, down the stretch, I saw you uh, you had all your starters out, and you had a, a, a different rotation in there. Uh, I mean, I know it was a, a ten point game, but did you throw up the white flag a little bit? No, not really. It's about three minutes to go. Hobson and uh, uh, Watson, or not Hobson and Watson, Hobson and uh, Johnson were both fighting cramps real bad. Uh, and so I subbed a few of the guards, and, and my other post had played a, a bunch of minutes. And, and um, I don't think I threw up the white flag by any means. And it was a 10 or 12 point game, but it was a possession game. But those, that was the deal that, that Mac has battled cramps uh, for some reason. That uh, I guess it's a medical mystery, but he doesn't cramp in practice. He only cramps in the games. And uh, we've seen that go on for a year and a half. So uh, hopefully. At some point during his career, we can figure out how to fix that. Um, and then Johnson cramped tonight, too. So that was really the, the difference. Um, and, and Luciano D'Souza was fighting the stomach virus real bad, uh, and he was at limited, limited duty tonight. Um, he um, was sick for practice uh, this week and shoot around or this, these last couple days and had 
uh, a stomach virus and was thrown up before the game, so I didn't have him at full strength. So that was kind of, I would have gone back with Lucy instead of Corey Sturm, but that was kind of the reason is he didn't have nothing left. Coach, I know you'd probably rather it happen next week for Utah State, but what, what can you say about Stu's 500 wins? Unbelievable. You know, when you start, you know, I think that one thing that coaches has done so well for so long is run a good, solid, consistent program with good kids who play the right way. And that's why he wins year after year after year. And um, when you, how many years has it shown? 34? You been head coach? 24. 24. 24 years and to have 500 wins, that's, that's pretty good. The man knows what he's doing. Um, I, I would think, the thing that I think that Stu has done so well, uh, and he gets a little grief for this in Logan, is his schedule. Uh, he does a great job of building confidence with his teams um, through his schedule and gets them to execute and has built an unbelievable home court at the Spectrum. And, and I think that is the reason why you see consistently that team and his teams continue to win at a high level is their schedule is, is, is really good, and that, that helps him. Um, and then he's also got great kids, and he does an unbelievable job coaching. And Sean's been covering him, was there. Well, you were there every year I was there, weren't you, Sean? Yeah. Um, it, it, it's the same thing every year. Nothing changes. Uh, it's just different personnel there, and even different assistant coaches. Uh, you can't have assistants so like yourself. I mean, you've, been, you've probably been around for maybe 300 of those. Uh, quite a few of them. I don't know how many. 15 years of them. So, uh, yeah, quite a few of them. But, but make no mistake about it, one, there's one man running that program. That's him. And, uh, but uh, it, I think if you had to say any one thing, is, is that, that that's a model of consistency. And, and that's kind of, if you know Coach very well, that's kind of how he lives his life. You know what you see is what you get. <clears throat> Stu's not a fancy dresser. He's not a. He's not. He's not a BSer. He's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's just going to. Go get it done, and that's what he does. One more quick thing, Coach. Just yeah. on on the personnel changes, we we did see uh, uh, Johnson out there running point. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Steph played a little point tonight. Marcus did. Mac did. We we moved him around. Uh, you know, I. I um, you know, that's what Steph was coming in here. And, and so uh, uh, I was really working uh, to try to get us a better defensive lineup out there, some diff different defensive matchups. And uh, if you look at the stats, it didn't work tonight. But that's kind of the direction we're going, you know. Coach, you had all three of those guys on the floor at one point. Is, yeah. Is, is that difficult for, for point guards to, to not play the point? Well, I don't – you know, I, I – Maybe I don't think so. I mean, they seem they've seemed to be really good with it in practice, and and uh, you know if if you look at our stats on the year, you would say that there's one glare, two glaring things that stick out for us over the course of the full year, and if you've covered us all year, it's turnovers. We've turned the ball over too much. So how do you fix that? You get your best ball handlers on the court. So that was what that's what I'm trying to do. All right, there's no secret to that. So. We handle the ball better tonight, okay? And the next one's free throw shooting, and all three of those guys are pretty good free throw shooters and are pretty good shooters. So I thought, you know, getting those guys in there, we'd handle the ball better and we'd shoot better free throws. And that's kind of the reason for, for us going that direction.